Welcome back, this is episode number 7 of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So now that you have a basic understanding of ROS topics, let's write a topic publisher in a Python node. So to create a Python node, the first thing is actually to create a Python file. So let's go back to our ROS2 workspace, source directory, my robot controller, my robot controller. In this, we have for now, well, my first node.py. Let's actually make that a bit bigger. And what we can do is to create another one. Let's say touch draw cycle.py. So what we will want to do here is to control the turtle. So with the turtle sim node, we are going to control the turtle to make it draw a cycle. Okay, so we will not have to actually run the teleop key and press some keys on the keyboard. Everything is going to come from the code that we write. And I do ch mode plus x. So now this is an executable. All right. Let's go back to the source folder and let's do code dot and we can edit the file. So my first node, we don't need it anymore. This one for now, no. Draw cycle. And so let's just init the node. So first, the interpreter user bin env python3. And we are going to import rclpy, okay? Also from rclpy.node import node because we're going to use the node class. And then let's do def main with args is None. Okay, so now I'm going to go just a bit faster because we have already actually created a node here. So make sure that you have correctly followed the previous lesson on how to create a node with object-oriented programming. In the main function, let's do sclpy.init with args is equal to args. And then sclpy.shutdown. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. Then if you want to also run the script from the terminal directly, you can add if name is equal to main, call the main function. But I'm not going to do it here. So let's just keep it like this. Now I'm going to create a node. So class, let's name it simply draw cycle node, which inherits from node. Let's create a constructor init self with super dot init and let's call this node draw cycle as you can see here i use the same name for the node and for the file just make sure that you know of course that this name is different from that name okay those are two different things you can use the same name if you want but this is the file name and this is the node name and then maybe let's do self get logger dot info uh, node so maybe draw cycle node has been started okay i like to have a log usually in the constructor of the node so that you can see when you actually start the node that the node has been started and that it's running okay so now we have initialized the node we still don't have any publisher so let's create a publisher the publisher will allow us to send some messages to a topic. So how to create a publisher in ROS2 with Python? Well, let's create it here. You can do, for example, self. So let's create an attribute. Let's call it command vel pub, like that. So cmd vel, so command velocity pub is equal to self so you can use self create underscore publisher as simple as that the self is the node so the sclpy node and you create a publisher let's open and close parentheses and then what do you need to give you need to give first the message type how to know the message type well we have seen that in the previous tutorial let's come back to the terminal and let's run so let's well let's run turtle sim here ROS to run turtle sim turtle sim node. Okay, so we have the turtle. Now let's reuse here the ROS to 
um, topic list, you can see that this is the topic we want, turtle one common velocity. So if we do ROS2 topic info with that name, now you can see we have the type. Okay, the type is geometry messages, message twist. So that's what we need to send, a twist message from the geometry messages package. All right, so to do that, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to do this here from geometry messages dot msg import twist. And you can see we also have the auto-completion because the geometry messages package, okay, where is this package? Well, this one was actually installed when you installed ROS2 with your global installation. And I can put here twist. Now, one very important thing is that because I'm using geometry messages package in my robot controller package. So let's go to package.xml and let's add a depend tag after rclpy. Depend um, geometry msgs. Okay, so any package that you're going to use in my robot controller, you're going to also add a dependency here in package.xml. And by the way, I can also add turtle sim. Because for now, we don't explicitly use um, turtle sim here in the code. We're going to do that later. But we actually need turtle sim to run because we're going to send some command to the turtle with the turtle sim package. So I also add dependency to turtle sim to make sure that actually when we run something in this package, we have so the Python library, RCLPy, the geometry messages, and the turtle sim packages. Let's save this, and that's pretty much it for the dependencies. Okay, so now I have the message type. Now I need to give the name of the topic. Okay, so a topic has a message type and a name. So what is the name? The name is that one. Turtle one common velocity. So let's just use the same with quotes. Okay, and make sure you use the exact same name. Okay, any typo here? and it's not gonna work. Okay, and finally, I will add 10 here. So what is this? Well, this is a Q size. Okay, so you need to precise a Q size. So basically, but let's say that you are sending some messages on a topic in a network that is not that reliable, or you are sending big pieces of data, the Q size will kind of create a buffer Okay, so that you can make sure that all the messages are going to be sent. And so the buffer here will contain 10 messages. So it's not really important for now. I just have to provide it. Let's just use 10 every time. And then when you get more advanced with ROS2, you can actually know more about this and use the settings that's going to work uh, better for your application. All right, so create publisher with the data type and then the topic name and 10 for the queue size. So we have a publisher now. Well, this publisher will not do anything by itself. So we need to publish some data. And what we are going to do is, so let's say we want to send some data. So we want to control the turtle. We want to send some data every 0.5 seconds to give an instruction to move. So how to send some data every 0.5 seconds? Well, let's just use what we did before. Let's just use a timer with a callback. So let's do def, let's create a callback, let's name it, for example, send velocity comment. So actually, we just create a normal function. And how to actually send something to the topic? So we have the publisher, but how to send something? Well, we will first need to create a message. So the message is equal to twist. So we use twist with open close parentheses to create a message object from the class twist. And now we will need to fill this. So how to know what we need to send? Well, let's go back to the terminal and let's do ROS2 interface show to see the inside of the interface. And now you can see we have vector three linear. So that's another type. So we have linear and then X, Y, and Z. So we will have linear.x, linear.y, linear.z. And the same for angular, angular.x, y, and z. 
Now, if we look at the turtle sim, so this message is actually a 3D message, but here we are in 2D. So we will only be interested in a few of those. For example, the linear X. So the X axis here will depend on the turtle. Okay, so from the turtle going forward, this is going to be X. Okay, going perpendicular here, this is going to be Y. Okay, so if you send a linear X command, you're going to tell actually the turtle to move forward. So if it's positive and to go backward if it's negative. Okay, so that's a command we want. And then if you send an angular velocity, well, because this is 2D, the only angular velocity we can send is the Z axis. Okay, the Z axis is basically to turn on itself here. So by just sending a X linear velocity and a Z angular velocity, we will be able to make the turtle just turn around. Okay, I'm not going to go into more details about this. This is just mathematics. And here the most important is actually to understand how to use ROS2. Okay, so let's go to the code. And let's do msg dot. And you can see here you have linear or angular. So we already have the auto completion with the twist. So let's do linear dot x is equal to and let's use well let's use 2.0 that's the value i have tested before you can also test different uh, values if you want and then let's do msg dot angular dot z is equal to 1.0 great so now we have created a message we have filled the data of the message so you don't necessarily need to fill all the fields okay just the one you want all right, so we have created the message. And of course, what we need to do is to publish the message. So how to publish the message, we do self dot command vel pub. So the publisher we have created dot publish. And we pass the message. All right, so we create a publisher and then we create a message and we use the publish method of the publisher to send the message. As simple as that. And now, well, this node is still doing nothing because it creates a publisher, it uh, prints some log, but we are not publishing anything. So here I'm going to do self timer is equal to um, self create timer. I'm going to give 0 0.5 seconds and the callback is self send velocity command. All right, so when the node is created, we're going to create inside the node a publisher and then a timer and print something. The timer is going to call this function every 0.5 seconds. And inside this function, we create a message and we use the publisher that we have created here in the constructor to publish the message. So that's it for the node code. Now let's go back to the main. What do we have? We initialize ROS2, we shut down ROS2. Let's create the node draw cycle node and let's do rclpy dot spin with the node that's it we create the node and we make sure to of course spin the node if we don't make the node spin well we're just gonna uh, exit the program right now if we make the node spin it is going to be kept alive and this timer will work every 0 0.5 seconds. So this is going to be called thanks to the spin method here. So let's save this. And now let's go to setup.py to actually install the node. So how to install the node? Well, we're going to do the same thing as here in console script. We're going to add another line. So go after this one, make sure you add a comma. That's very important. If you forget this comma, you will have some weird errors after that. And let's add another node so another executable here let's name it draw cycle is equal to my robot controller dot draw cycle colon main so what do we have here this is going to be the executable name draw cycle is equal to package name dot file name okay you can see here the file name is also the same as the executable draw cycle and then colon main because we want to call the main function. All right. 
So let's save this as well. Let's go to the terminal and um, okay, let's kill this. Let's go back to ROS to workspace and let's do callcon build. And I'm going to also do simlink install. So the simlink install will allow us, as you have seen before, it will allow us to uh, modify this file here and not having to build again to run the updated version of the node. And the thing is, we still have to actually use callcom build because, well, the first node, my first node was already here, but draw cycle was not here. So when you create a new file and you create a, here a new executable, you need to do callcom build. The simlink install will only work for executables that are already created. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, finished. It was very quick. Now let's run the turtle sim node. Okay, so we have the turtle sim node. Nothing happens. In that terminal, let's do source bash nc. Okay, to make sure that we have set up the Rust workspace environment. And let's do Rust to run my robot controller. I'm going to press tab twice. You can see now we have two executables draw cycle and test node. So I'm going to run draw cycle and let's look at what's happening here. The turtle is drawing a cycle. Okay, and it's cycling around. So if we want to debug this, um, let's do clear. So if we want to do some introspection, Let's do acuity graph. And let's refresh here. And you can see we have our node named draw cycle. We have the turtle sim node. And the draw cycle is publishing to the turtle one common velocity topic. The turtle sim is subscribing to this topic so that this node is actually sending data to that node. Great. Now let's say I kill the turtle sim. Okay. Well, this uh, draw cycle is still gonna send some data to the turtle one common velocity topic, but there is no subscriber, so nobody's gonna receive it. Now I can start the turtle sim again, and you can see the turtle is gonna continue to move. If I so let's uh, put the turtle here. If I stop the draw cycle node. You can see the turtle is gonna stop. I start it again, the turtle is gonna move. And I stop, okay, it stops. And so the very important thing here is that you need to pay attention to, let's go back here, you need to pay attention to the type you're sending and the name, okay? This is the most important thing. You use the exact same name and the exact same type, otherwise the communication is not gonna work. And let's come back very quickly and let's run uh, the turtle again and the draw cycle. Okay, so it's working. And here, let's do ROS2 topic list. You can see we have common velocity still here. ROS2 topic info with um, that one. You can see now we have one publisher, one subscriber. If I do ROS2 topic echo with that topic, you can also see what we will receive. Okay, so we will receive some messages. I'm going to do control C. You can see we will receive some messages with linear x is equal to 2, and then we have 0 and 0, and then angular z is equal to 1. That's exactly what we are sending here. Okay, so if you want, you can experiment with different values to make different cycle. And well, congratulations, you have written your first ROS2 publisher. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on ROS2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.